Yes, baby, back again. I'm so happy. So let me tell y'all what's going on. Miss Lizzo, guess what? This is gonna make her number fourth um, row consecutively on the number one billboard breaking history. She broke Cardi B record, Bodak Yellow. The girls are doing it this decade. <laughs> Give it up for the girls. Give it up for the girls, okay? Make sure you guys like this video, share this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, Gossip Girl, XOXO. So what's going on, Gossip community? Let's gossip. How do y'all feel about that? Is that why Miss Banks and everybody else is really mad at Lizzo? Cause she on top. Ain't it the crap in the bucket? Lord have mercy. And let's not forget about Little Nas X. Um, I believe he, shit, Panini. I like that song. I do listen to it. I like to listen to it with the lights off, you know. But anyway, <laughs> Panini is number five on the 100 billboards. So this is going to make his second top 10 in a row so congratulations to him hopefully you get number one in one week i don't know you know anyway i just came to let you guys know what was going on because you know we had so much backlash with the lizzo news i said i gotta come up here and give some good lizzo news you know what i'm saying you know you just have to because there's just so much negativity we have to uplift people you know, especially people that's always getting dragged and they doing good, you know. Anyway, make sure, like this video, comment, let us know what you guys think about this. Now, you do have negativity. Girl, this is what they saying. They talking about Lizzo, she with Paola. That song wasn't even that good. It don't matter if the song is good or not, according to you. I'm sure you probably have a whole bunch of songs that you think is good, but it ain't gonna hit number one, okay? So, you know, you have to realize it's not just you, it's not just your thinking in your community. We're dealing with a whole world, you know? So the world likes it, you know? So there you go, you know? I don't know, you know, I've never been the one to, when people say, oh, you know, I don't know. God damn, let me get my words together. Okay, don't you know how it's gonna be a bowl of soup, right? Now, I may taste it. If I don't like it, I'm not gonna be like, ew, this is horrible. Who's gonna eat this bull crap? I'm not gonna do that. First, I feel like it's offensive to say it's horrible when other people eat it and they enjoy it, you know? So I'm not gonna do that. If I don't like it, you know, it ain't for me, you know? But some people have this idea, like if they don't like it, it's horrible and it's okay. That is horrible. Why would you eat that? I, don't tell me shit is horrible that I'm eating. Okay, I don't wanna hear it, okay? Shut the hell. Would you please be quiet? Okay, I didn't ask you how you felt about it. So if I'm eating a bowl of grits, I don't want you to tell me where it came from, how, if I'm going to Zaxby's or whoever, don't. If I go to Wendy's, I had this one person. I said, I'm going to Wendy's. Oh, you eating that horse shit? Man, I turned around. I said, you effed up my appetite. Don't tell me. Listen, if you don't, if you ain't down with the program, that's fine. But please don't ruin it for me. Like, I don't want to hear it. Even if Wendy's got horse, whatever. I don't want to know. Keep that shit to yourself, okay? But I still went Wendy's. The next week, I had to let the, the memory fade. Because when he said that, that just effed me up, you know? By comment, let us know what you guys think about this. And I'm going to put the receipts right now, okay? Bye. Bye.